Howdy. My name's Jim. I'm gonna do a review on this Cobalt 12-in-1 screwdriver. And um, this thing's pretty interesting. It's actually kind of a ratcheting, uh, they call it a double drive. And this is not like your old school ratchet that you turn and it turns one way. This one, it turns on both ways. As you can see right here, this is turning as I forward it and go back to grab more to turn more. Now, this is a, a wonderful, pretty wonderful idea. Great idea. Except for a couple of things. You got to work at it. Now, before I, before I get to that, I want to uh, look into my notes here, and I want to share exactly, uh, well, what this comes with. They're three and a half inch bits, and they're two and one bits. And there's, um, oh, one, two, three, four, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six of them. And um, it's got the, for the standard, it's got a three sixteenths and a quarter inch. Oop, that's a square, forgive me. Eyes are failing me. <laughs> and these all go in the handle, which seems to be pretty good. It, it almost feels like a little loose, but I still haven't lost one yet. Um, this has, as for a Phillips, it has a number one, two, and three. For the T, it has the, uh, the torch bits. It has a T10, T15, T20, and T25. And the square bit has a square bit. It's number one, number two, and number three on these. And they all store in the handle pretty well. Like I said, I haven't had any of them fall out as of yet. And the uh, it's got a, this, this screwdriver has a pretty good grip. And it has a quick release, which I want to show you here. I'm going to do a couple screws here and, and uh, just kind of show you some of the good and some of the maybe not so good. I wouldn't say bad. And this is one of the things that I, I've had the screwdriver a couple weeks now. And it's a little hesitant to go in. But I'm going to say that that is a good uh, sign or indicator that it's not going to come out when you're using it. And I haven't had it come, pop out when I'm using it, unless, of course, I didn't get it seated properly. Now, I got a fan here I'm going to try to do some unscrewing on and uh, take this this fan out here, the, the motor itself. And I want to show you on something like this, it's relatively easy to ratchet back and forth to pull your screws. Just just so easy. I mean it's it's a and it's a simple if you catch the right place it flips back up to change direction and you can put it back in with ease. Now this is the the difference in this in this screwdriver on mechanical items i'm going to tell you that this is an amazing tool this is a uh, move in the right direction by cobalt um, this is going to make not using an electric uh, or using a, a drill a cordless drill you, you're just not going to need to for the electrical um, applications. I want to pull this down because this is when things change here and it doesn't make this screwdriver a bad screwdriver. It just makes it not best for this application. Now what I got is I got a no it's more of a concrete screw and I think I've got a drywall screw in my pocket here that I brought and I'm gonna yeah that will work I'm going to show you uh, what we run into here. Now I'm going to press this down pretty good to get a little bit of a start. And I'm going to show you initially, well, first off, you got your problem of you're, you're spinning around here. So if we go down and, yeah, 
see the the hardness here we go we're getting it a little bit all right now i got it started it's i know there we go all right now what you run into here is you can't grip this thing tight enough to go back the second direction so it just becomes a ratcheting screwdriver at this point which is still good you're you're only doing half the work but there's you'd have to be a pretty big fella to grab this thing and ratchet down to where you can get forward movement out of both directions forward and back so and I'm, I'm just I guess not a big enough fella to do so but great for mechanical applications not so great for um, wood and anything that provides any real resistance I'm going to move up here to uh, I think this is a T15 or I mean a T25 now I've got a couple holes this is an old piece of wood that I had here verify my size here and I have a couple holes in it because you know I just wanted to give this thing every benefit of the doubt and initially we get some turning but as soon as this thing gets tight, that's it, we're done. But once again, great ratcheting. I would hate to put this much in by hand. I, of course, would wanna go with cordless, but what we're really talking about on this cobalt ratcheting screwdriver is this. What application is gonna best fit? Right tool for right job, right? This, for this job, no way. And I wouldn't want to screw that much in. You're doing any kind of uh, hanging a picture or something like that. Might be fine to go into the sheetrock, but when you're talking about going, when you hit that stud, you're done. You are you just got a ratcheting screwdriver at that point. And it is quite weighty, so it's going to wear you out if you're doing work up here for any amount of time. So my recommendation on this is it's an amazing tool best suited for your mechanical applications. I would love to have had this when I was working on uh, oh, pulling, working on cars, pulling stuff together, pulling stuff apart, and just uh, it's a great application. Once, as soon as you break that screw loose, man, it's it's easy. You're you're just going. But uh, as for any kind of construction application, just not sure. Maybe for heat and air. But uh, other than that, great tool, great job, Cobalt. Great grip, easy to, easy to handle, a little weighty, but I understand it got quite a mechanism in here. And um, longevity-wise, I'm not sure. I've only had it a couple weeks, but uh, I do have a little bit of a concern about whether these bits will fall out. And by the way, I don't know if I said so, these bits are three and a half inches long. I did some work in my in my home with this thing, tightening up, uh, oh, selling my house, and tightening up uh, door handles and minor things like that, and this worked like a charm. Got in there, had enough bit to do so, so and I could choose from all these different bits. It suited just about every application I'd come up with. And it will take a standard bit, uh, uh, not out of here. You can use, uh, oh, I think we've got another bit here. It'll use separate bits too if you if you had to. So just saying great product, just proper application. Appreciate your time. Thanks.